Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a cool unboxing for you. So, this package comes by way of ATR over at Knife Standards. So, this is the new Knife Standards RR Station prototype, which is his new model. Uh, the pre order is actually dropping on Friday, February 24th. So, uh, yeah. That is happening very soon, if not the day you're seeing this. I'm going to try my best to get this out in time. Uh, so, something really cool about these is they are in Vanex. So, you're going to get a Best Tech OEM knife in Vanex. Something I've been trying to do for since we started Devo. And uh, every time I ask, I can't get this stuff from anybody. But now it turns out it's available. So awesome stuff. Glad to see it. And uh, just like the Magna Cut on the RR Standard, seems like ATR is really pushing it with uh, steels and whatnot. So I'm just trying to get everything out of here. Sorry. There is a little note, so let me read that real quick. All right. All right, so this one goes to uh, Stasa next, which is cool. Uh, Pre-order is February 24th at 6 p.m. Pacific time, so keep that in mind. Uh, we're not dissembling this guy. Here we go. Hi, Kev. First of all, thank you for being an awesome friend, and thank you so much for the epic support of the RR Standard. You are a pillar of the knife community for real, supporting so many makers, making tons of content, and designing rockin' knives. It's not easy. Uh, so, as you know, the RR Standard is my first design, and the design that I showed to my dad almost two years ago. Wow, can't believe it's been that long. I know it's crazy how fast time goes. I have some RR Standards in stock, by the way, so if anybody's interested... Are our standards in stock. And the knife you have in hand is my second design, which has been in the works for quite a while, the RR Station. It is inspired by my dad's love of trains. He collected electric model and toy trains throughout his life, and he was fascinated with them. I set out to design a functional, everyday carry that has the shape and silhouette of a train. The version you have is the Aqua. Sick. Few minor changes. One more jimping at the top. Extended thumb stud length. And the carbon fiber inlay will be flush and the transition will be improved. No disassembly for this one, please. <laughs> Laugh out loud. The blade steel is hollow ground Vanex and there are two other versions of the RR station. The RR station will have the milled titanium clip and they will be $350 for pre-order. It will then go up after pre-order. Again, thank you for taking the time to check out my second design, Kev. Let me know if you have any questions. ATR. Awesome. So, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Let's take a look at the RR station. Oh, okay. I saw it like half open. I was like, that's a big ass blade. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, it's not as big as I thought. Um, so, this is a big knife, though. So, keep that in mind. You're talking about a 3.6 inch blade, I think. We got oil here. Let me just... I don't know if he oiled the fat carbon or what, but feels good right off the bat. So I believe he designed this with a wire clip, but he decided to uh, switch to this milled clip, or I don't know if he's going to provide both. Um, honestly, wire clips aren't too expensive. So if you're watching this, that might be a cool option is to just include the wire clip so people have the option. But I know it's getting pricey already, so you got to be careful. Um, very square, you know, a very square design. You got some corners up here, some angles, which is cool. I got to say, this thing looks gnarly, um, looks really, really cool. You got T8 construction here all around, it looks like, which is good to see. You got thumb studs, and you obviously have this fuller, which is awesome. You got prototype right here. And uh, one of the coolest things is this RR in the pivot. Um, we're seeing some square pivots lately, like Kvist has done it. And it's cool to see some differences, you know, some stuff that's not the norm. Uh, dead centered, you have standoffs here, which is cool. And uh, man, this feels really nicely made. And it is light, guys. 
you would probably expect something like this to be heavy, but it is light. Uh, and I guess part of the reason he can have that um, price point be at 350 is maybe the standoffs. There's no backspacer. One thing that stands out is there is nothing from here back. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying it's unusual. Like, I'm just not used to seeing that. You know what I mean? Um, so let's give it a right hand. We'll start with a right hand thumb flick. Okay. And holy shit. Okay. It is a very straight knife. Look at that. He is um, something ATR does, like one of his design language things is straight backs. Like almost both of his designs now have a straight spine across the line, which is interesting to me. Um, here is your lock bar access. So you get, yeah, you get a good corner there. Ooh, okay. Um, nice action on the close. Let's try a... Reverse flick off the stud. Okay, she fires. Dropping like it's hot. Let's switch over to this left hand here and try to flick this fuller. <laughs> Dead nice. Dead nice. Real nice, Clark. All right, so this grip back here is comfortable, I got to say. Comfortable right here. And then you have this long flat up here to the blade. And that is comfortable as well. Gotta say, very comfortable. That hollow grind is gnarly. Yeah, that's real nice with that uh, belt sat in there feeling good. Hey guys, so I just want to interject on my past self here. <laughs> I'm actually taking the time to edit, sort of. Because I want to show you this knife does cut really well. I didn't go over that in the video. Um, I assure you, I always cut with knives. I just don't always think about it right in the moment in a video, but this thing is an absolute laser beam. Um, the Van X is ground extremely thin. Best Tech did a great job on this hollow grind. I mean, I can, I can do those little curlies. I mean, yeah, it's really good. Um, nice thin hollow really comes down to a thin edge even though it's not the tallest grind and it has this fuller but it cuts right through no issue with that thumb studs aren't in the way or the path at all um in terms of a, a sharpening trial it looks like you're good to go there um you could sharpen back quite a bit the plunge grind it does look like it ends like a little bit before the edge starts you have you have some life there um it drops fast so yeah i think you have right about there is where the plunge and so you have to there to sharpen back before you start getting that smile but you have a lot of room in general um you could always cut your own in right i think in that situation let's see where the stop pin is oh internal stop pin so yeah you're good uh yeah so i just wanted to show that it does cut um and it's awesome so but the action on this thing is crazy So, the way the detent's set up is for these thumb studs, right? So, I would say thumb stud, thumb flick is money, right? Thumb stud, reverse flick, solid. Um, I can fail it off the fuller, obviously, but I think that's just an inherent thing with a full blood groove, right? This is a blood groove, not a fuller, right? But if you flick it, it's very satisfying. So, honestly, I have no issue with this. Uh, would I want it a little stronger? Yes, I would. Um, Cause I think the studs could definitely handle a little more. So if you dial that D10 up just a touch, uh, but it's not necessary. Like I would be happy with it as is. Um, it's a big boy. That's one thing I want to mention. So let me grab, uh, do, 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 do. here is the Quiet Carry 9. I think that's three and a quarter. And you can see it's dwarfing the nine. Um, very different knives. What is this shit on here? That's weird. Um, sorry. Very different knives. Very curved, right? Very straight. 
I just thought that was kind of cool. But similar at the same time. Uh, what's a... I don't have a lot of big knives, guys. Here's my Evo 2.0. By the way, this is... No, that fat carbon is gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, it, it's basically a good chunk bigger than... Not a good chunk, but quarter inch on each end bigger. So I'd say, let's measure it then. So it'll be easy to measure because it's going to be straight. So yeah, you're almost at four inches to the uh, handle here. So you have about four inches of blade. Now cutting edge, you have three and a half and then handle you have four and a half so that's a or four and three quarters that's a good ratio though so you have almost four inches of blade four and three quarters of handle what does that equal well that equals uh eight and three quarters almost a nine inch knife overall so that's what we're talking about now, I wonder if you could front flip this. So I'm going to give it a shot. I think I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah, real easy. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I think he said he's going to do one more jimp. So you're going to have jimping that pops this last bit, which is what you want. Honestly, I would want it to be jimped here and then put one jimp up top. That way you get full coverage. If you roll over, you still could catch it. And pop it. So I would do two more gems. One here and one over. But, you know, not my knife. This thing is stupid lightweight, man. Because you have milling and you have uh, onlays. So you have the fat carbon and you have extra milling in there. And then you have standoffs instead of a backspace. which just makes it super lightweight. I mean, yeah, this is nice, man. So I think for me it's a little bit big. Um, I don't go this big, you know, this is, this is a freaking like straight razor. It's awesome though, you know? So if you like big knives and you cannot lie, this is unique as hell. Um, I've never seen a knife that looks like this. Have you? Um, it's very well made. I mean, he said the transitions would be better. This is perfect. I don't even know what... What are you smoking, ATR? Holy shit, this is money. Literally can't feel anything, but maybe one of his prototypes is off a little bit. Um, that's really good. You got a nice big detent ball. I mean, this is extremely well made. I got a little bit of grab on that lock bar. But that would wear in anyway, and it could just be some oil. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not allowed to take it apart. <laughs> yeah, this is sweet, guys. So um, I will uh, see what's up. I may probably do a follow-up review, but, you know, he's got this um, pre-order dropping soon, and, you know, it might honestly be more beneficial if I just send it along to Stasa so that he can get more content up um, because I've got a real good grip on this one. This one's awesome, you know? It's just a big knife. So as long as you're okay with big knives, this one's going to be perfect. I mean, the front flips money, the fuller flips money, the thumb stud flips money. I'm really digging knives with fullers, uh, slots, holes, and studs because you get a really good thumb flick, right, that you don't normally get with a knife that has a hole. Well, sometimes with a hole, but a fuller or whatever, you're not going to get uh, – no detent less. You're not going to get a great thumb flick, right? But on this, you do. And then for the reverse flick, instead of having to get up here on the stud, which works, but it's not like the funnest thing in the world. Being able to just rip a fuller is so fun. It's so satisfying. I can pop a ring finger in there and pop it. I bet you I could use my pinky on this thing. Use my pinky on it. Um, so I can literally flick it with any finger. Can I? What do I do with my index finger? I mean, you can index finger flip it. Let's see if we can do upside down flips. These I suck at. Yeah, I really suck at these, so hold on. Ah! Oh, guys. Friday night. Oh, man, the gas station's in trouble. Gas station security is in trouble. <laughs> Holy shit. 
This is extremely comfortable. Look at that flat just thumb ramp or thumb grip right there. I'm locked in and I got almost four inches of Slurpee protection right here, guys. In Vanex. So if I accidentally go through a Slurpee, you know, if a Slurpee has to be sacrificed, it's not going to rust my blade. So that's pretty sick. Um, yeah, this is dope, guys. This is prototype number one. Um, no rock, no play. I mean, yeah, this is good. I love this. I love this. Uh, ATR, can you do me a favor, bro? Can you make a, uh, mini RR station? Just call it the mini station. <laughs> I can't think of a cool name right now. I'm trying to think of a cool name. Um, when you make the mini station, which... I'm hoping this does really well because of how awesome it is. Because this is awesome. Um, I'm hoping it affords you the ability to make a mini. Because this would be, in my opinion, I would love this in a three and a quarter uh, blade. Even at three inches, maybe, just to try it. I don't know. But, sick knife. Alright, for all you guys out there, you know... Complaining about all the small knives lately. Here you go. Here you go. Check it. So, uh, that's it. Uh, these are up for pre-order. Friday, February 24th, 6 p.m. Pacific. That's, uh, what is that? 9 p.m. Eastern time. You can pick one of these up. 350 bucks on pre-order, guys. I can tell you, that's a good price. Uh, I know what stuff costs from Best Tech. Their prices are really going up. I have a knife. I have a Stout V2 specced out almost like this, except it has a backspacer. Um, and it's really expensive, guys. 350 is a good price. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, pick one up if you're interested. And uh, thank you to ATR. I really appreciate you letting me check this out first, dude. That, that really means a lot. And this thing is awesome. Super comfortable in all the grips. You know, sometimes knives don't look like they'd be comfortable, you know. But whew, this thing you could cut in any orientation. And it's got really good ergos. Um, it's got a drop shut action. It's got a really good um, detent. It's got a sick hollow ground Vanex blade, four inches of Vanex, basically, three and a half cutting. You get fat carb. I mean, come on. I'm going to shut up. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.